Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that prove the following identities. First part is cosecant of 3 pi by 2 plus x is equal to minus secant x. And second part is cos of x plus y is equal to 1 minus 10 x 10 y over upon secant x secant y. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, sine of alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. And second result is, cos of alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the first part we have to prove that the secant of 3 pi by 2 plus x is equal to minus secant x now let us start with the left hand side. The left hand side is cosecant of 3 pi by 2 plus x. Now we know that cosecant of x is equal to 1 upon sin x. So here cosecant of 3 pi by 2 plus x will be equal to 1 upon sin of 3 pi by 2 plus x. Further, this is equal to. Now, using this result, which is given in the key idea. Now, here, let 3 pi by 2 be alpha and x be beta. And we will apply the formula of sine of alpha plus beta. So, this is equal to 1 upon sine alpha. That is 3 pi by 2 cos beta, that is x, plus cos alpha, that is 3 pi by 2, sine beta, that is x. So, this is equal to 1 upon sine of 3 pi by 2 into cos x, plus cos of 3 pi by 2, into sin x. Now sin of 3 pi by 2 can be written as sin of pi plus pi by 2. And we know that sin of pi plus theta is equal to minus sin theta. So this is equal to minus sin of pi by 2. Now we know that sin of pi by 2 is 1. So this is equal to minus 1. Therefore sin of 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1. Similarly, we can find cos of 3 pi by 2 and this is equal to 0. Now putting these values here, this is equal to 1 upon minus 1 into cos x plus 0 into sin x. Further, this is equal to 1 upon minus of cos x plus 0. And 0 into sin x is 0. And this is equal to minus 1 upon cos of x. Now, we know that 1 upon cos x is equal to secant x. So, this is equal to minus secant x. And this is the right hand side of the given equation. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, we have root the identity. Now, 
Let us start with the second part. Now in the second part we have to prove that cos of x plus y is equal to 1 minus tan x tan y whole upon secant x secant y. Now let us start with the left hand side which is cos of x plus y. Now using the second result which is given in the key idea cos of x plus y will be equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Now this can be written as cos x cos y minus sin x sin y whole upon 1 Now we look at the right hand side here the numerator of this fraction is in tangent form and the denominator is in secant form. So when we divide the numerator and denominator of this fraction by the product cos x cos y. So Dividing the numerator and denominator by the product cos x cos y we get in the numerator we have cos x cos y upon cos x cos y minus sin x sin y upon cos x cos y all upon 1 upon cos x cos y. Now this is equal to now cos x cos y will be cancelled with cos x cos y and this is equal to 1 minus now here sin x upon cos x is 10 x and here sin y upon cos y is tan y. Now in the denominator we can write this as 1 into 1 upon cos x cos y. Now here you can see that 1 upon cos x will be secant x and 1 upon cos y will be secant y. So this will be equal to 1 minus tan x tan y all upon secant x secant y. And this is equal to the right hand side. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence we have proved the given identity. So this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.